This guy has been arguably one of the most hyped skill position players, definitely the most hyped skill position player to come from the Russell Wilson trade to the Broncos. This is a wonderful flip, guys. If you've been subscribed to the channel, you've been following, you've been knowing I've been talking about Jerry Judy as one of my favorite offseason investments going back to December. I bought this card for $20, just flipped it last night for $75. Bingo, bango, bongo, that is the formula for success. So I've been grinding the reports, the analytics, the news, the player profiles. Guys, I've got some mail to share with you in today's video and we're starting right now. Let's dig in. Welcome to the Football Card Quest. My name is Andy. If you're new here and you want to learn about the specific players and card sets and specific cards to target investing to maximize your return on investment and all kinds of really cool football card stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell notification icon, and a little like button if we're doing a good job so you don't miss anything out here and you help us out on the channel grow. Here we go. First package, Joe. Plain white envelope. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, baby. gotta take this out yeah wait till I tell you guys how much I got this for so Curtis Samuel drafted really early in the second round 2017 NFL draft he enrolled at Ohio State as a four-star recruit of the 2014 class immediately saw playing time for the Buckeyes rushed 58 times 383 yards and six touchdowns his role would steadily grow until 2016 when he became a legitimate threat in both the run game and passing game. In his final year at Ohio State, Samuel's college stats showed a rushing line of 97, 771 yards and 8 touchdowns, a receiving line of 74 receptions, 865 yards and 7 touchdowns. This earned him first team All-Big Ten and All-American honors. Fast forward to 2020. His last year at Carolina before signing with the Commanders on a three-year, $34.5 million contract. Under Matt Rule, Carolina, Samuel posted a receiving line of 77 receptions, 851 yards, three touchdowns, and also rushed 41 times for 200 yards and another two touchdowns. Samuel's 2020 season was easily the best of his career from a real-life standpoint, and it was reflected in fantasy as well. As he averaged 14.1 points per game, good for a fantasy ranking of wide receiver 27, which is also a career high as he ended the year as a high-end wide receiver 3, who just so happened to turn in 7 games of 16 points or more. Samuel dealt with both groin and hamstring injuries in 2021, with his groin injury dating back to the preseason. He appeared in just 5 games for Washington last year. When it came to the athleticism, we know Samuel has it. He runs a 4-3-1 40-yard dash. That's 99th percentile. He has a 110.5 height adjusted speed score. That's 92nd percentile. This suggests he has the speed to burn in the open field. He's not going to win with size, but he is a dangerous playmaker with elite speed who we've seen succeed in the slot in each of the last two healthy seasons. Step one for 2022 for Curtis Samuel will be to get healthy. Step two, we'll be getting acclimated to a new offense and with Carson Wentz as a new quarterback. If, though, he's able to stay on the field and returns to the slot role he's seen some success in, then the soon-to-be, he's only 25.7 years old. He's very young for a 2017 rookie. He could be in line for a big rebound in 2022, very similar to a Debo Samuel type of role, right, with the running and receiving background. And so I was able to purchase this on card optic autograph numbered out of 150 there for $13.99 with a plain white envelope under $15. So this same card for OJ Howard recently sold for $27. Mike Williams $51 and James Connor for $25 which is how you know I got a good deal on a card of this set, this caliber, and this scarcity, guys. Looking at the condition, it's a possible candidate for grading. These cards have a pretty good gem rate. The Prisms from 2017, even higher gem rate. Uh, but just love this at the price point. I'll probably flip it raw, looking for a breakout from Curtis Samuel. I'll look to flip it on a spike week. So I'll, I'll relist it raw for around $30 to $40 and see what happens. Nice sleeper play with a lot of uh, upside there. All right, that's a good way to start a mail day. Second package. See what we got. Now make sure you guys 
watch to the end of the video because I want you to let me know in the comments section below which card you felt of mine today in this mail day has the highest upside, which one you like the best from a player and card standpoint, and also what you're targeting this weekend. I want to hear from you guys in the comments or the Discord server over on patreon.com slash football cards. Curtis Samuel was a guy I wrote up in the Oxford Cyber article a few weeks ago as a, as a deep sleeper potential. There were some rookie ticket autos out there for 10 bucks. Ooh, check it out, guys. 2015 Prism. Short print photo variation here. Portrait, Marcus Mariota, a double down. Before I tell you how much I paid at Oregon, Marcus Mariota redshirted his freshman year. He then went on to start the next three seasons for the Ducks, amassing 10,000... 800 passing yards and 2,230 rushing yards as a dual threat quarterback. He set multiple college records and college stats such as passing yards, passing touchdowns. In his 2014 redshirt senior year, he amassed 5,224 yards of total offense, a Pac-12 record on his way to being the first Hawaiian-born player to win the Heisman Trophy. Mariota profiled as an elite college prospect showcasing a 90th percentile college QBR and a 90th percentile college yards per attempt. Mariota attended the 2015 Combine and flashed elite athleticism running a 4-5-2-40 time and registering a 98th percentile 115.4 Spark X score that speed, power, agility, reaction, quickness. He measured in at a height of 6 feet 4 inches tall with a hand size of 9 and 7 8 inches. He was selected by the Titans with the second overall pick in the 2015 draft. Mariota played five seasons for the Titans but failed to live up to the hype of his prospect profile. His best season was 2016 when he finished as the QB 12 in fantasy points per game after throwing a career high 26 touchdowns. After his contract with Titans expired, Mariota signed with the Raiders to back up Derek Carr. He played meaningful NFL action in just one game over the last two years in Vegas. That was week 15 of 2020. I want you guys to dig deep in your memory banks because the results were quite good. He got an 82.1 PFF grade, very well above average, very good grade for that week. And as a result, his card prices spiked in value for that stretch of two weeks. I can remember it like it was yesterday. Now, fast forward to today, after losing out on their pursuit of Deshaun Watson and flipping Matt Ryan to the Colts, the Falcons signed Mariota to a two-year, $18.7 million contract, effectively a one-year deal. Mariota on this kind of deal makes sense as a bridge QB, and I'm looking for the immediate flip here with the Atlanta Falcons boasting a solid fan base, and they should have an easier than average start to the season based on their finish from last year, which could lead to a nice spike in Mariota's cards. I've already noticed significant demand spike in his rookie cards, as I have a few other Marcus Mariota cards in my collection for this moment, guys. Not to mention his Oregon Ducks autograph cards are very viable based on his college resume, the legendary Oregon Duck here. I believe that Mariota's card should continue to appreciate and value into the draft. And if they pass on an early QB like Malik Willis or Detroit or Carolina draft him instead, then we could see Mariota pick quite a bit of hype heading into 2022 September. And I feel comfortable investing in base short print prism cards from 2015. It's a very well made set, thick card stock here, guys. Let's take these out. Yeah, I mean, you can really feel the quality. And with it being six years old, it maintains a nice scarcity element, especially getting these at $10 a piece with only 50 cents shipping. I could, I could flip these right now for about $20 based on the current sold items for this card and potentially $30 or so leading into the draft or you know around $40 in September if he's still the bona fide starter. So I love the price point. Invested in the base short print variation because it is Prism. It is 2015. A little tiny. Oh, that was in fact my spit from talking so much. So great. <clears throat> great job, Andy. <laughs> Come on, man. That's why you keep a little microfiber cloth handy when you're opening your cards, especially if you're talking. But this is actually in really good shape. Love the centering. And remember, guys, you can always compare what these look like to a PSA 10 online or SGC 10 
online uh, to get an idea of what it what it could potentially grade out at. Or you could take a picture of the raw card, naked, no sleeve, no top load or nothing. Upload it to FGScards.com scanning software and see what you could potentially looking at like a grade. Because a $30 SGC grade on this, uh, if it get, comes back a 10, would add considerable value above and beyond what it costs to get it graded. So I like that potential route. Next package. Let's go. Let's go. What do we have here? Well, this looks nice. This is really well secured here. Bubble mailer. Got like a cardboard protection. Packaging tape. We're getting to it. <laughs> here it is. What do we got? Oh, baby. Yeah. Look at the autograph variation. Oh man, Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Juice Landry was part of that historical 2014 wide receiver class. Includes current NFL receivers, Odell Beckham, Mike Evans, Brandon Cooks, Devontae Adams, and Allen Robinson. Just to name a few, a stacked wide receiver class saw Landry slide to the end of the second round before the Miami Dolphins drafted him, number 63 overall. He was an immediate contributor for the Dolphins as a rookie in 2014, finishing with 84 receptions on 112 targets. 2015 would start a five-year stretch of being named to the Pro Bowl for Jarvis Juice Landry. In 2016, Landry would lead the league in yards after catch with 612, exceeding his air yards. In 2017, Landry would score nine touchdowns to go along with a league-leading 112 receptions. That was number three in touchdowns this year. This would result in Landry's fantasy football peak of 16.2 points per game, number four that season. A dispute between Landry and the Dolphins on how much he was worth led him to being traded to the Cleveland Browns in 2018 offseason where he signed a five-year, $75.5 million contract. The contract made him the sixth highest paid wide receiver. Landry was heavily featured in 2018 and 2019 by the Browns. However, Baker Mayfield and Landry, <laughs> similar to Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham Jr., or Baker Mayfield and seemingly all of his teammates, were unable to get on the same page. He never saw a target accuracy top the top 75, and Landry would fail to finish inside the top 10 in receiving yards or receptions in either season. Baker, you wonder why the Colts didn't want to pick you up, man. <laughs> in 2019, the Browns traded for OBJ. This acquisition, Odell emerged as number one receiving option at the expense of Landry's target volume by 2020. Landry as a secondary option put up 800 receiving yards. His lowest since his rookie season to this point of his career, he hadn't missed games due to injury. In 2021, he injured his MCL missing games for the first time in his eight-year career. Talk about a tough dude. Landry's cap hit in 2022 is the 12th highest among wide receivers. Therefore, Landry was released to free up cap space for the acquisition of Amari Cooper and Deshaun Watson. As of right now, Landry does not have a home. He is a free agent, but he has rumored to be Resigned with the Browns now that Baker is out, Deshaun Watson's in, but the Eagles, the Bills, and the Saints have all showed interest in his talents, not to mention he plays with an incredible passion and leadership mentality. He doesn't have the nickname Juice for no reason. I love this guy. Definitely has some PC value to me with his dog mentality and helping me to several fantasy football championships in years past. And, and so in 2014, Tops was heavy in the game. Tops was heavy in the game with NFL and NFLPA licensing. Uh, definitely wanted to grab something autographed, if not serial numbered or short print refraction from the top sets in 2014. Tops Chrome is easily the most liquid of Tops brands from 2014. And these short print on card autos are a thing of beauty. Guys, I grabbed these for $12.50 a piece. It's a great deal when examining the prices of Landry's autograph, short print, and serial numbered cards. They get really pricey really quick. I'm just gonna say that. I notice a touch of off center left to right here, just a little tiny touch, but overall corners in great condition. Autograph, fantastic, with the jersey number. You notice this one didn't even get the jersey number. He kind of did this one real quick. You know, we just got the J for juice. So, but I'm gonna take this one out too. Let's see. I love these though. Twelve dollars and fifty cents a piece. Let's go. 
Let's go. Look at the condition, man. Condition is fantastic. So I think these would grade well. I think this one especially. A uh, little tiny dimple. Unless, is that my saliva again? It is. Jeez, Andy. So. Come on, man. Uh, I'm going to look at potentially, I'm going to look at scanning these. Looks like a little surface imperfection. A couple dimples on this one. Uh, but I'll probably flip them raw, but I can see myself flipping these for uh, $20, $30 raw. Well, yeah, I'll pay twelve fifty. dollars So I'll probably list these the same thing, probably uh, between 30 and 40 raw and see what happens. That's kind of my game plan for these type of cards. Very happy about them. Personal collection value as well. All right, guys, let me know which pickup today you liked the most and which was your favorite from a player and a card standpoint. Um, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Also, hit me up in the comments or in the Discord server. Let me know what you guys are getting into this weekend. I want to dig in some auctions with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, 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 peace. A uh, huge thank you to David, Snorlax Hunter, Justin Can't Sleep, Chris Salvaggio, Bob Graff, John M., and Manny for their Patreon contribution in March. They are new members over on the Quest Club. Welcome to the fam, guys. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you in that next one. Peace. Oh, we're getting ready to do a giveaway. Giveaway is going to be sweet this month. It's going to be sweet, guys. Oh, you just wait. Got a little flip today to share with you, Gears. <laughs>